what is up you guys welcome back to another react video we're doing here today for a new movie trailer that just came out and it is going to be annabelle 3. Now, the last time i did one of these react videos to a horror movie i ended up not even posting it because i thought it may make me look bad of how i represented the trailer and how i represented myself there was a lot of uh cussing a lot of screaming and uh, basically, my whole thing is, I don't do very good with jump scares. Now, everything pretty much set in the Conjuring universe, and like Insidious and stuff, is very jump scare related. So I was watching and, you know, reacting to The Nun whenever that came out a while back. And I was going to do the trailer for that. And it scared the shit out of me. So I didn't, I just never posted it. But you know what, I thought, new year, new me. I'm not going to shy away from doing these horror movies. There's actually another horror movie trailer that just came out that I'm actually going to be doing uh, for you guys this week as well. But I'm really a huge fan of this Conjuring series. I love The Nun. I love Conjuring 1 and 2. I love the first two Annabelles that were great. I can't wait for them to put out The Crooked Man. I hope that's still in development as well. I cannot wait. I'll just, I love how they're developing the Conjuring universe. We see this with like the Marvel universe and things like that. But for a horror movie series... To do that, to me, is really special. It's something we haven't seen before. So I'm going to stop rambling. We're going to get into this thing. Uh, you guys will get my live reaction on the whole thing. Afterwards, we'll talk about it. I'm already really don't want to look at her face right now. The eyes freak me out. Um, so I heard this is going to be a sequel to Annabelle 2. It's going to kind of tie into the new Conjuring 3, uh, which I've heard reports is going to be set in the 80s. Conjuring 1 and 2 is set in the 70s. The third should be set in the 80s, I believe, so this should be pushing along the timeline in the Conjuring universe. So we'll see what the trailer's about. Um, I haven't seen it yet so far. I haven't even seen any comments or anybody say anything about it so far. So curious to see what it's about, if it's any good, if it's just a shit show. So we're going to jump in, check it out. Her eye's pretty fucked up there. And her cheek looks like she's attacked by a small raccoon, but we're going to jump into this thing anyway. Kind of okay. Practice. So she was locked up last time, so that's good. She's still. It's safer for these things to be in here than out there. Sometimes it's better to keep the genie in the bottle. I agree. Keep it locked up. Don't your parents keep any creepy stuff around? You keep it all locked away in a room so that we're safe. Mm-hmm. I agree. It's not really good for anyone to go in there. What? Why is she going in there? Mm hmm Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Of course she sees the doll. Of course she's looking at it. What'd you do to get in there? Don't you open the fucking... Get out of that fucking room. Of course. That's how it would happen. Oh god, I don't feel good right now. Oh! That, that looked like Jaquan Phoenix. Oh. Annabelle. I'm sorry. What else did you touch? Oh. Everything. Oh no, she touched everything. Can I play with Annabelle? I think you have the wrong house. There's no Annabelle here. Oh! Uh oh. I saw him see that. Like how my mom sees things. Oh my Don't, god. It's a beacon for other spirits. What the hell was that? Oh my god. No. No, 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 no. Oh! Oh god. Why would you sleep with that? Oh god. <laughs> oh god. Oh god. Holy shit. Oh. If I had my watch on, my heart rate would be just blasted right now. Um Okay. 
so a lot to go over uh, there. I don't even want to look and see how bad my audio pegged there. I don't think I screamed. <laughs> I jumped a lot. Damn, that was a tense situation. Okay, so breaking down what I seen. To me, the trailer was a little bit more frightening than the nun was. Um, I can see how they're going to try it. I would imagine this would be the last Annabelle movie. I'd be curious to see how they would spin it off into a fourth. So, what I noticed was this crazy asshole chick that just randomly showed up at these people's house. Why? I don't know. She showed up. She starts going into the special room where they keep all this, you know, enchanted... What's that... What's that word I'm looking for? Possessed shit. She goes in there, starts filling with shit, looks at the doll. Oh, what a nice doll. Sees this rocking chair creaking around. You got heads and shit turning around looking at you. She finally gets the sense to get the hell out of there. I don't get it. She's walking through there, fiddling with everything, touching everything. Then she gets out and they say, hey man, well, bro, what's up? What all did what you touch? And she, everything. So they're basically fucked. The whole thing. So I think Annabelle is the least of their problems in this movie. I think it's going to be a bunch of other things that we see in that room. And I think this is how they're going to spin off into doing The Conjuring 3. They're going to touch some other shit in that room. It's going to start to conjure up stuff. And bam, it's going to end there. We're going to see a couple different, you know, demons or whatever the hell you want to, you know, call them. And that's going to spin off into Conjuring 3 and kind of tell you the backstory maybe of how they got that piece or that relic or whatever the hell you want to call it. Honestly, the scene that got me the most was the bed scene. Seeing this doll in the bed already, you are see you see this face looking at you. Oh yeah, that's, that's fine. Yeah. Look around, hear some shit. Oh, I want to sleep in the bed too with you. Whatever the hell it said. You're looking around, you have the Simon Says game next to you. You already got pulled down. And, this whole thing's just baffling me. You already got pulled down in your bed. At that point, dude, I would have pissed my pants. I would have been screaming. And there would not be a cover on my body. They would have been kicked off immediately. Anyway, this chick, she's looking around. Got pulled down. Oh, God. Wakes up, looks around. Oh, oh there's a creepy-ass doll. Looks around. Boom. There's somebody in the bed with her. What would you do in that situation? Anyway, that's what I think this whole movie is going to be, kind of. It's going to be a launching path for other movies in the Conjuring universe. I see this probably being the farewell move for Annabelle. I'd be very curious, like I said, to see how they would spin this off into other movies. But they may do it. So far, this movie is looking like it's shaping up to be better than the second one. I thought the first and second one were pretty good. Uh, I thought the second one was okay, and not as good as the first one, in my opinion. Um, but the third one's looking really cool. I hope to see them bring some more... You know, different characters and stuff into the mix, some different hauntings and stuff like they did with The Conjuring 2, where they, you know, showed us the nun, the crooked man, and the uh, that creepy old bastard though, sitting in the chair the whole time with his remote thing. Anyways, though, a lot of potential here. I'm super excited about this movie. Uh, so, in the beginning, we see her kind of looking normal, looking fresh, and now she's looking like she just got ripped down a highway, uh, you know, tied off on a rope against a car's back bumper. She looks pretty messed up here. Eyes fucked up. Cheeks fucked up. Chins fucked up. Why would anybody want this doll? How could you look at this doll back in the day and think, Oh yeah, those eyes don't even look like normal doll eyes. If you look at them, they look like human being eyes inside a doll's head. Anyways, I'm done looking at this. I don't even want to look at this anymore. But I do want to thank you guys so much for watching the video. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching me be a, a pansy watching that. That's exactly the reason I didn't post the nun, but I'm gonna go ahead and post this anyway, you know, it's gonna kinda tarnish my reputation a little bit, but I don't give a shit anymore. I enjoy these movies. I want people to know that I enjoy these movies, and I'm passionate about these horror movies. I'm a huge fan of James Wan. I love what he did with that Fast and Furious movie. I love what he did with Aquaman. And I hear that he's making a movie called The Trench, which is a spinoff of Aquaman. And I keep hearing that he's gonna be doing the new Mortal Kombat spinoff or reboot. But we'll see about that. Anyway, the guy's just a mastermind. I love, you know, he's one of the people that kickstarted this whole universe off. Love to see what they're going to do here. So that's all I have to say. I'm not going to ramble anymore. Thank you guys so much for checking out the video. I always do appreciate it. And as always, guys, I will see you on the next one.